my Cancer friends. It's Guy Halo here. Let's find out what's coming in for you financially. Week of 7th to the 14th of March. Let's find out what's coming in for you. There could be relationships here that are affecting your financial life. There could be... There's been a, a time delay on something. Anyway, the Wheel of Fortune. A time of positive change. A situation sudden suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side so that's beautiful something you've been waiting on comes to fruition nine of cups your wish comes true concerns fade away a love of life that is beautiful energy all right let's find out what's happening at a more in-depth level for my cancer friends it's happening at a more in-depth level for my cancer friends what is this wheel of fortune about do you see this as a good thing it's the wheel of life spinning, taking you to where you want to go. Fortune is on your side. Justice, beautiful. Someone could be having something come up in a legal situation or something coming in that brings balance to a situation. It's absolutely just all up in your head. Stress, worry, aggravation, sleepless nights, not sure what to do. I think something's been on delay. The wheel has been on delay is what I'm getting because it came out of the, out of the deck reversed. I wonder if there's going to be a reversal happen in what you feel is a win or a something. You've been having tireless times about what to do here. There's some sort of concern of loss. You've been processing your thoughts and your feelings at night, challenging information or trying to find ingenious ways to create uh, a new start. There's been some sort of stalking or also could be some sort of watching somebody. A creative idea brought through the justice system or a creative idea that brings justice to a circumstance. Tell me about this Nine of Cups and Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Cups. There is a wish granted coming, obviously. So there's some sort of illusion around what's going on right now, some sort of illusion around what's going to make you happy. I feel like you're, you're, you're looking at the things as they are, not what you can bring to the table. It's like you want to remain on the outside of the circumstance and uh, look at things that way. But the thing with the Seven of Cups is you can't walk away from illusion until you decide what you can bring to each situation. So... If you made seven lists of pros and cons for each seven things, seven of cups, very emotionally confused. If you brought, brought, wrote down the pros and cons and then brought in how you could change those pros into better pros or you could change those cons into pros, how does your energy being inserted into the situation change the energy of the situation? It's almost like you're sitting there going, I don't know what to do, but you're not, you're not inserting yourself into a situation. You're trying to make a decision or let other people make choices for you. Well, going into hermit mode, you could have a wheel of fortune time or something surrounding a Virgo. Being very wise. Someone here is a very wise sage, not going to move too soon, not going to move too fast. They may actually have a little bit of cold feet. And if this is you, been in hermit mode, not knowing what to do, I think someone senses you're pulling back. Or you sense someone else pulling back. This is about teaching people. This is about being a guide, being incredibly wise. Taking that star of hope that you've had for something all along and trying to figure out how to bring it to fruition fully. How to be that light and that star for someone else. How do I show them the way? How do I show them the way? I have the clarity. I have the movements forward. You've reached the top of the mountain. How do I find the way forward? How does, how does that happen? It could be dealing with a Libra and a Virgo. Judgment. An awakening needs to happen. There's some sort of awakening that's not... You've not awakened to some sort of truth or some sort of thing this could be about health it could be about something coming back around again that's got you concerned 
So there's love here. It could be soulmate energy. Something from the past is plaguing you from when you were a child, romanticizing the past, looking at things from a different perspective, walking away from childish childhood beliefs. But also it's about embracing your inner child and taking that with you. But being old enough and able to discern what is the, what's the happy, what's the best parts to take with you. I am having a hard time. So you guys are having a hard time. I can tell you that much. I think you may feel like there's lying and cheating or sneakiness going on with a soulmate. So you very well may be stalking social media or I don't know, keeping an eye on them. There's some sort of win that's coming and it is absolutely a victory. And it has to do with standing for what you believe. However, it is a sword, so there's usually a double edge to it. It is going to be an incredibly challenging beginning, but it is a beginning nonetheless. Tell me about this wish granted. Your wish comes true, concerns fade away, a love of life. Having psychic insights about what's going on with a soulmate. Not being able to see the way forward, but taking that step forward nonetheless. There's some sort of fear involved. There could be a truth coming to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Trying to find balance in your emotions over truths that have been spoken. This truth or this whatever brings a challenging beginning. I believe there's something you want here. But you're just not sure how to go about getting it. If you speak the truth, do I risk losing it all? There's some sort of energy. There's a gift coming to you. Or you will be giving a gift of money or time or effort to somebody. There could be a gift of money coming to you that helps clear things up. What's crossing this nine of cups, like this wish granted? What's stopping you or whomever from bringing this forward or even seeing something? Working together. Someone is in the middle of two people. Someone is trying to work with both sides of the scenario. And someone just needs to come to all people involved and say, I'm going to pitch an idea. What do you think? A conversation needs to be had. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And there will be a wish come out of it. A wish granted. So, however, you're trying to keep yourself out of the circumstance and situation. And what needs to happen is you all need to come together and work as a team. There's, yeah, see, there's fear of conflict is why you're not. You're afraid to speak your truth. You're afraid that it will cut things away from you. Has it so far when you've spoken your truth with this significant other or this situation or this job place scenario? You're concerned about conflict when you speak your truth. Cutting remarks, truth told without tact. Tell me about this hermit energy, one card, justice, and the three of cups. Justice in a third party situation. There will be justice and there will be celebration. I think you're waiting on someone to make a decision, but the divine saying it's partly your decision too. Tell me about this judgment card. It's crossing this wheel of fortune spinning. You need to make a choice. Are you in it to win it, my cancer friends? Or are you sidelining it and letting other people run your life? Are you sidelining it and waiting for other people to make the decision so you don't have to? You need to step past that line of fear into the front lines of your life. Do you want someone else fighting battles for you? Is that what you want? Taking control for you? Maybe you do. Making the decision soulmate energy yet again six of cups there is very strong soulmate energy i think this person whomever this is involved you feel like it's so comfortable with them like you've known them forever you could be also communicating with someone from your childhood they may be coming back around and it may be causing confusion for you about what to do could be having a judgment needs to be made as to whether you're going to stay in a partnership or be single. Whether, I wonder if a judgment's going to be made too soon 
or that's your fear in a soulmate relationship before they actually can step into their power. You can have whatever you want and do whatever you want. You can be single if you want. I think you're trying to make the decision as to whether I should just be single or not. It could be something, like I said, to deal with the justice system here. We have a judge and a lawyer coming through as well. All right, let's find out where could this leave you by the end of March. This reading is getting a bit long. Potentially, the Seven of Wands. We have you guarding, fighting, warding off things that come your way. I think there's opportunities and passionate things coming your way, but you feel the need to defend and keep things where you're at. We have the Knight of Pentacles, someone taking some time, but this is an offer of movement forward, but it's going to take some time. I will not lose everything I have. Thank you. It's going to take some time to move things forward. And then there's the Chariot. So defending your need to take things slow, but yet moving forward quickly in some sort of area nonetheless. The chariot, there's going to be some movement forward and fast. You could be dealing with a Virgo here yet again. This is Virgo energy. Could be Taurus Capricorn as well. I think I think there's been someone who's in the mix that's been causing a problem, or you think they have, but there will be a just decision made on it. And I think you could be waiting for them to make the decision. We have an emperor, boss, judge, CEO. We have a white collar worker, someone who works in the office. There's a gift coming to you for the hard work you've done. And I don't think you see that coming either. There's a whole lot of conflict and up in your head, that's for sure. And no speaking about your truth, about what, the, what your truths are. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. You will have your dreams, wish granted. You will have the things you desire. I wonder if for a little while it will be on a singular basis. Something is going to make you incredibly happy. Honor and follow the guidance of your heart. And I think your heart is feeling that conditions aren't favorable right now. So wait and look into other options and ask the angels to help comfort and guide you. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. So you're coming into a new way of doing, being, trusting, and all those things. I think there's some sort of concern about whether you should give a gift of time, money, or effort to others as well. You could very well be going to see a banker about financial issues, how to bring more money to your pocket from the investments you've already made. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. I'll talk to you again soon.